Hi, I'm Steve McDonald, ED Inspector. I'm here today to talk to you about entering deep pits safely. A couple of years ago, the, the issue was brought to our Joint Health and Safety Committee as a, a hazard um, with our inspectors. Uh, we were clearly not and are not meeting the guidelines for the Occupational Health and Safety Act or the regulations, uh, which require uh, safe entry over three meters um, when you can fall more than three meters. So we put together a corrective action team. We have a procedure in place now to do that activity safely and we're here today to share that with you. Please join me. Hi, I'm Rene Caravas with the TSSA's Elevating Devices program. Uh, we're in the elevator machine room and this is the disconnect switch for the elevator that we're going to be using to access the pit. Uh, so elevator number six, I've turned off the disconnect locked it out and tagged it and I confirmed with the volt probe that the power is actually off. Uh, we're going to proceed down to where the elevator is on the anchor floor which is the second floor. Uh, we'll try putting some calls in to make sure that the elevator cannot move and then we'll go down to the bottom floor and access the elevator pit. Okay, so here we are at the anchor floor. The anchor floor, as mentioned, is one floor above the entry floor, which is the bottom floor of the hoistway. Rene has already captured the elevator and he's locked it out in the elevator machine room. The next part of the procedure, Rene is now going to install the door jam anchor in the doorway here. Rene? Okay, so we're at the anchor floor and we're gonna, uh, our elevator is locked out and tagged uh, so we know that it's not moving and we're gonna use this anchor which is adjustable for the width of the door opening uh, and we're gonna place it in the door opening here in the door frame with the D-ring on it on the side that the pit ladder is at uh, so that'll make it easier to reach the uh, lanyard that we're going to lower. So for now, I'm going to lock the anchor into place. Okay, so that's locked in. And here's our sling or lanyard that we're going to be connecting to when we're entering the pit. So the next step is to connect this to our anchor and then lower the lanyard. So now at the floor below we can connect to this lanyard with our harness and the uh, self-retracting lanyard and enter the pit. Okay, so we're all set. So I have Tenley here who's going to help me connect my uh, SRL to my harness. Thank you, Tenley. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to open the hall doors and wedge them in the open position. Okay. So door wedge is in place holding the doors open and I'm going to reach for the ladder. Okay. So I'm down in the pit safely and I'm going to undo my lanyard and I'm going to ask Tenley to pull it up slowly and once the lanyard is retracted 
we can go back up to the anchor floor, one floor above, remove the uh, lanyard that we have there, remove the self-retracting lanyard from this level. Once the elevator is back in sort of nor normal condition, we can go up to the machine room and remove the lock and turn the power back on so that uh, Tenley uh, can move the elevator for me so I can do the inspection of the pit and I could also continue on to the other elevator pits that are in the same shaft uh, complete the inspections of those with the help of the inspector who's helping me, Tenley in this case and then at the end I will have this elevator up here again, Tenley will lock it out, tag it out lower the uh, lanyard, attach the self-retracting lanyard I would attach to it and come back up uh, the ladder. Thanks Tenley. Okay. Okay. So I'm ready to exit the pit. So there you have it. High risk pit entry made safe through procedure. Now we do have various size four to four distances. We have various size web lanyards to accommodate that. The size of the door openings also vary. We have the door wedge anchor that accommodates various sizes. So uh, as you've seen, the procedure is pretty straightforward. With some training, it's fairly easy to do and to accomplish with two people and a security guard. Please use the procedure and stay safe.